Every job we take, we make some new friends. We get the ball, we score the goals, and then it's on again. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a brand new start. Until tomorrow, the aim is he would part. Hello folks, welcome back to yet another episode of my Football Manager 2020 Game Save with Olympic Marseille. That's right, we are silky, 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 sitting, uh, sitting pretty in third spot at the moment. Of course, PSG banging the goals in for fun. But so are we, so are we. Um, it's been a bit of news, uh, transfer-wise and also results-wise. So let's take it to the results first and then I'll bring you up to date with what's been going on uh, business-wise. So, okay, we did open up, with, of course, with that 5-0 win over Lorient. Uh, but then we took on uh, former big-time heavyweights in the Ligue 1, Bordeaux, at their place. And we won 2-0. Junior Bramado got his third goal in two games uh, after Lloyd, the super sub, who came on, changed the whole game. He set up Bramado for his third. And then, of course, the wonder boy himself, Thomas Lloyd, actually got man of the match for only playing 18 minutes of this game. Just goes to show how dull it was prior to those substitutions. Uh, but yes, fantastic 2-0 win. Uh, second away days of the season, 3-0 win over Strasbourg. Junior Baramano made it four goals in three games as he continues to rip it up here in League 1. Uh, uh, celebrates in front of the uh, home fans there. Second goal of the day, come out to Eriksson. Christian Eriksson gets his first goal uh, in League 1. And then we wrap it up with Triple L's first goal since his mega money move from SC20. Lovely bit of six. I think he nut make the keeper there. That's how good he is. 3-0 Strasbourg. So we're going to take on Dijon today. And depending on what goes on, if it's a busy transfer window, it might just be that game. But uh, if it's a quiet transfer window, then we're going to take on Olympic Lyon. Situation in the table is this. We sit third at the moment. Uh, level on points with Monaco, Lille and PSG. Our, uh, the guys who I'm keeping an eye on are Olympic Lyon. They're not too far away with six points uh, so far this season, Drew Bramado wants the goal scoring tally. He wants to become king of the world. Uh, he's got a chance to go outright level, or at least level, maybe outright top goal scorer after today. So some transfer activity uh, since you've been gone. Um, Naba Frentano is gone. He is uh, now a Napoli's goalkeeper. Maybe we kind of sold ourselves short a little bit. 22 million pounds. Uh, is he French number one? Don't tell me we've sold French number one goalkeeper. Uh, he's in the mix, isn't he? He's in the mix indeed. So we kind of shot ourselves in the foot there. But we are a little bit of a selling club. We're not the cream of the crop. We can't dictate to these boys. They did offer some good money. I think it will go up to 12 million, something like that. So, uh, yeah, decent little keeper. But he's no longer ours. Uh, also out the door is... Um, where is he? Where is he? I sold a guy to Liverpool for like a shit ton of money. Uh, but we brought in, uh, who do we brought in? We brought in the replacement goalkeeper, Ayman Al Shamajanji. He is a youngster. He's in the, uh, he's in the, he's actually our second fiddle at the moment. Um, Going to play understudy to the keeper that we brought in earlier in the campaign. So uh, Ayman Al Shamajanji is the one to keep an eye out for. I also brought in another Frenchman, Clement Messier. Uh, got it from a Belgian club for 2.5 million from Charlie. Um, he did, he's done okay. He's done okay so far. Formerly PSG, but now he's with us. Uh, we also sold this guy here, Ariane Trajani. Here he is, going to Liverpool for 7.5 million pounds. He uh, they tried to haggle with me, but I thought, you know what? If you've, you've got the cash, I want to see it. I want to see the money. He could be very, very good. He could be probably going to be a wonder kid. But 7.5 million pounds for a bit of a gamble. It could be a, it could be a dead deadbeat. It could be could go onto the booze and onto the crack and smack and all that kind of stuff and end up being a deadbeat. But uh, the pool plumped up the cash. Uh, we'll take it. He joins them in January in the new year. So the finances look like this. Uh, it's 8 million pounds in the bank with 15 million pound transfer kitty still. Um, it's not good enough to get Diebolt. Um, we're waiting for a big money departure. If it, if it ever happens, and then maybe we can sneak him in. Uh, to join the revolution at Marseille. 
So we're going to take on Dijon today. They come into this 13th of the table. We are third. A win away from going top, but we'll have to score eight goals to do that. That's going to be the problem, uh, outscoring PSG. And I don't think we've got that in our locker just yet. Okay, folks, here we go with the starting 11. A uh, bit of a problem because we, uh, we're we lacking in a bit of depth in this first team. Um, and I'm about to pull a youngster, a 16-year-old, uh, coming out right back. But Marseille between sticks. Castro at left back. CC Gravelion. Gufan at right back, uh, Guare Duarte, uh, Eriksen Loftus Cheek, Teddy on the left, Triple O on the on the right, Junior Bramado down the middle. Uh, Maradona needs to be in the mix. Let's go. Okay, folks, here we go up against uh, Dijon today. Not too familiar with these boys, but uh, they could be could be pretty savvy. So far, we've been faultless at the back, but with the youngster there. And the keeper still finding his, uh, finding his feet. This still could be a tricky game. We're up and away, boys. Up and away. Want to see more of what we've been doing so far. Here we come from the corner. This comes out to CC. We have to rename him because he had a bit of a, a double barrel snot fest. I couldn't really, couldn't really pronounce it. Gastro back to CC. Goes all the way back to uh, Marcella. Still trying to figure out the names myself. Picked up by Loftus. Cheeky still here despite wanting to leave... Yeah, if he plays, the, keeps playing the way he's doing. Him and Ericsson looking up nicely in the middle. We could be in that Champions League stuff that he wants. But no, it's picked up by Dijon. Oh, it's a bit of a gamble. We get away with it. Duarth to Gufan to Triple L. It's just silky. Look at him. Look at him. Cuts inside. Cuts inside. Goes all the way. That's why we brought him here. Because he's a savvy little crafty little bugger. And he's all mine. Look at this. Look at this. Goofan with the assist. Does he, he doesn't get the assist, though. He absolutely nutmegs him. Oh, skins him. Skins him, too. If Messi scored this, we'd all be talking about it because he's like 50. But anyway, so far, we're doing what we're doing, and I'm liking what I'm seeing. And that is another one. However, oof, great save down to the ground, Marcia. One of the top, goal one of the top goalkeepers from Ligue 2 last season. Um... And he started off in tremendous shape today. Chance here, Gufan, throw in to uh, Bramado. Been quiet so far. 20 minutes down, though. Still a chance for him. Uh, Triple L's effort hits the uh, keeper or woodwork or whatever. Looking decent, lads. Looking a stellar performance once again. Gufan. Poor throw. Gives a chance for Dijon to maybe break the wide open down this right-hand side. Pushes it out. Can we get can we get a break on it? Yes, lovely tackle. Tellier switches gears. Lovely, great chest by Bramado. Oh, he hits the frame. It's still alive. Castro, can he keep it going? No, he's tackled. He is tackled. It will be a free kick with Ericsson on it. You never know what's going to happen. It's Andrew Gravel on. I can't believe it. These boys are sick. They need a, they need to be 18 certificate to watch these boys in action. They are absolutely running riot. I actually feel, uh, of course, up against uh, Olympic Lyon next, uh, we can actually see it'll be our first real test. But look at Olympic Lyon, they're struggling against Lorient. I just feel that there's something already cooking here. Triple L gets his third of the season. What a pickup. What a transfer. He's going to rip it up in Ligue 1. Welcome back to France, boys. Show them Olympic Lyon, punk, Olympic Lyon punks what they, what they let go. What I saw in you. Twice. 3 0. Maybe we can outscore PSG. Second half. More of the same, please, boys. Give him a bit of praise. Need Bramado to get on the score sheet. That's what we're missing. Goofan. Coming in. The young 16 year old's done tremendous. Loftus cheek to Ericsson. Bit of, a, bit of experience there with Ericsson. Lovely, lovely skill. Castro. Ericsson. Oh, great save, keeper. But it looks like somebody was offside. Let's make some changes, lads. Let's make some changes. Where's Mercer? There's my new signing. I'll let him come on and have a little little play around. I uh, also have Tom Lloyd come on. And Diego Maradona. Yes, he's coming on. Yeah, we, we do lack in depth, but... I just don't know. I don't. Uh, I think maybe we just use the youngsters that we have. I might bring in a couple of players on transfer day. I just don't know. 
10 minutes to go boys we're looking phenomenal absolutely barnstorming they haven't conceded a goal I don't want to say it too loud I said it too loud didn't I I said it too loud it's a great save but the ref saying there might be a penalty here this could be our first goal conceded and it is Dijon with a consolation good fan you goofy you goofy goof nuts you were having a barnstorming game, Goofan. But hey, 7.0 on your debut. Not too shabby. 3-1. No Bramado, but Triple L showing what he's all about. Yes, indeed, boys. Another convincing performance by Olympic Marseille. And Mercier does make his return to French football. Yes, Ericsson. If only, if only. I'm going to try and see if I can talk him out of the old retirement. Because he's been absolutely phenomenal so far. So this is the situation out in League uh, at the moment. We are still joint uh, top alongside PSG and uh, Lib uh, Lille. Uh, Monaco two points adrift. St. Etienne make up the top five. Olympic Lyon are sixth. They are next in our range. Unless we have a crazy, crazy transfer window, which we don't know. This is, this is the dynasty that we want to break up. The last person to become champions was Monaco. Before that, it was Montpellier all the way back in 2011, 2012. Marseille, who knows? There they are, 2009, 2010. It's been too long, folks. Too blooming long. So here we go, folks. It is the transfer deadline day. What's going to go on? Are we going to lose our core? Or are we going to bring in some new faces? Well, we'll have to wait and see as, uh, as the old transfer madness kicks off. Okay, folks, so we have a couple of offers on the table for some of the long youngsters. Uh, Emil Christensen, we just brought him in, I believe. Um, and he's going to go straight back out on loan. We'll allow that. Same could be said for this guy, Laurent Gurdjieffri. Not one of my purchases, one of the academy prospects. And again, we'll allow him to go out the door. So I am going to go uh, probably and sign this guy. I'm just a little bit dubious. He's a 21-year-old Chilean international. He scores goals wherever he plays. Um, he's, a, he's, he's cheap, but he is a double-digit man. He could be the Reyes of this team. We do need cover for Bravado, or Bramar, Bernardo, whatever his name is, the uh, Brazilian hotshot. Just wondering how good he will be, so... And if there's anything better on that. I think for the money, I think it's a good option. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and sign Sebastian Ortiz. Competing for places. So the board, uh, I think highly of this one. B minus, so it's not too shabby. Let's get him on the old uh, language courses and all that kind of good stuff. Squad registration. Where is he? Where is the lad? Get in this one. That makes number 50. It's our third foreigner. We have a fourth coming, remember, Brazilian hot shot. Did I get him in there? Yeah, I think I got him in there, right? Yeah. So what is his value now? 3.2 million? Eh. But great finishing, great first touch, great pace, stamina. It, it, it ticks all the boxes and I believe he will get goals for us when called upon. Now we could do, oh, that's a cheeky bit, isn't it, Andres? We could do some defensive cover. So maybe we'll have a little look. Look at this, boys, look at this. Going for Paul Pogba. Four million squid -a Woo! Okay, we'll let those bad boys sink in. Put a couple of offers on the table. We do need to improve the depth. A um, couple of little Frenchies, Pogba included. See what they say about that. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to sell off this cheek. Come on, boys. Paul Pogba. That would be. A, I know he's getting on. He's getting on a little bit, but probably got two years in him. And if we can, uh, and if we can get the best out of him, he might be on a bit of money, which uh, will scare us off. Uh, this is the other guy, uh, Hugo Van der Mersch. He is a uh, fullback. Fringe player. That means you get fringe wages, buddy. Fringe wages. What are they? See, they're not even. They're not even gonna let you. They're not even gonna let you come. I can't. I can't, buddy. I'll give you this, and I'll give you this. I 
I'm gonna I'm gonna get that down to about that. A million signing on fee. He can have that. Okay, well, we might, we might be able to do these deals. Uh, I think I'm gonna, I could have to, I'm gonna have to say no, because I, if the Pogba deal comes through, I'd rather have the Pogba deal. Sorry, Lewis, I love you. I love you and all, but I'd rather have a flipping Paul Pogba, pulling the heartstrings, Why is nobody making any moves for our stuff? He's incredibly interested, but not on that wages. That's gonna hit us right in the balls. Uh, oh, at least, at least it's something. It's at least it's something. Adjust budgets. Best I can do, mate. It's the best I could do. One twenty. Appearance fee. Tapped out there, mate. Tapped out there. Gold bonus. Forty k gold bonus. It's more than some people make a flipping year. Oh, you kill it! I can't. Gold bonus, 60k. I'll give you 700k for that. I'll give you 700k for that. But I can't do that. I can't do that. You are a money grabbing little shit bag, aren't you? Let's give you 700k for that. Unused substitute fee. How about how about thirty k right there? Ooh. Now, can we get it over the line? That's the thing. Can we get it over the line? Have I just ruined it? Can't afford it. Just can't afford it. No. You little shitbag, you little shitbag. Well, we've got one of our deals over the line. Hugo van der Mersch. Paul Pogba fleeced, it, fleeced us dry. Now I won't be able to get this deal. What a flipping mess. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ruben Loftus Cheek, who is on a bit of money. Uh, not that much, 60k. AZ Alkmaar coming on in. 9.25 value. Yep, yep. I'm just going to take it and get him off the books. And away he potentially goes. So I'm thinking we need a midfielder now around about the same sort of price. Pogba would have been an ideal. Oh my goodness. Christopher Diebold's gone for 15 million to flip in Stuttgart. Oh my, I'm absolutely livid with that. Look at the tremendous two seasons he had with us. I was trying to scramble a, a deal together, but nothing. Nothing, nothing. Now I've got problems all over the place. Okay then, so this is the replacement for our uh, matey boy, uh, Ruben Loftus-Cheeks. It's Orion Trajojevic. He is a Serbian international. He's going to be good. He is going to be good. He's a, more of a defensive midfielder, but he can play in that other role. We've also got Emmerich in as well from FC20. Of course, a familiar face as well. And here we go. B+. Plus. Yeah, they're happy with that. I'm happy with that. I think he's a, a definite upgrade. He's 23 as well, young. So he'll fit in nicely alongside the experienced uh, Christian 
Ericsson. We've also got Maradona to compete for that spot as well. So a bit of depth here, which is good. We've got a bit of depth at the back now. And um, did we get a striker? We did get a striker as well. So starting to pick up a little bit, but still could do with selling a couple of big name players to bounce the books. So the transfer window is shut, boys and girls. Slam shut. So, yeah, well, we were the most active, um, spending 44 million, uh, bringing in 25 players. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, it is crazy, um, but um, we're, we're building like two or three teams here, boys. We're building two or three teams, so just in case, I don't know what I've had left in this after the old edit. Um, I did uh, sell Rubens Loftus Cheek for 7.75 million pounds. He went uh, for a cool, uh, it could go up to 9.25 million pounds. Players coming in, uh, we brought in Sebastian Ortiz for 2.4 million. Chilean striker adds a bit of depth to our forward numbers. Who else did we bring in? We brought in uh, Hugo van der Mersch from Leeds, right back and also left back as well. So good option for cover because uh, we have our expensive bastards at full backs. If they get injured, we need a bit of cover there. We brought in an old familiar face, Emmerich, to uh, at least put up, fill the stop gap here until uh, the other Brazilian uh, matey boy comes in in January. So he's in there. Uh, of course, we know him. We know him very, very well. And then we also brought in uh, the actual gap filler for Ruben Loftus-Cheek, Ojinic Trajakovic. Um, he and could be a very, very solid player. Um, so the finances, not looking good. Uh, only 3 million left in the bank. 4.3 million left in the transfer kit. Transfer kitty, sorry. We spent a lot of money. Yes, we have. But so far, things look absolutely incredible at the top of the table. Just the one goal conceded. Uh, four wins out of four, we're looking good. And at the minute, we're on point to get ourselves into the money bags. That is Champions League football, folks. But anyway, I am going to wrap it up there. The transfer window was longer than I expected. Um, we'll be back tomorrow for Lille, or, or Leon. Sorry, we'll get for Leon. We'll do a double header, uh, so you won't miss a beat. Uh, folks, take it on Leon. Who else have we got on the, on the uh, NIMS? So we get those two bad boys uh, before we kick it on. Uh, for the rest of the season. Anyway, until then, boys and girls, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up. And of course, if you're new, smash the subscribe back tomorrow for another banger with Olympic Marseille. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, championship related, football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope.